today we are going to discuss differential equations of the second and higher order differential equations of the second and higher order so if any equation is in the form of y power n that means nth derivative n minus 1th derivative n minus 2th derivative so on so forth and p1 of x p2 of x plus so on pn of x is equal to q of x p1 p2 p3 up to pn and q of n are continuous and real valued functions then it is called a linear differential equation so if p1 p2 p3 so on pn are real constants and q of x is continuous function then the differential equation is called linear differential equation with constant coefficients okay now we are going to find out uh, a complementary function how you can find out so if uh, the differential equation is f of d into y is equal to 0 and if you got it as m1 comma m2 comma m3 are the different roots then complementary function is c1 into e power m1 x c2 e power m2 x c3 e power m3 x if you got the roots as m1 comma m1 that means repeated roots comma m3 then c1 plus c2 x into e power m1 x plus c3 into e power m3 x if you get m1 comma m1 comma m1 and on the root is m4 then complementary function is c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square into e power m1 x plus c3 into e power m4 x if the roots are alpha plus or minus i beta, i beta then e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x if the roots are alpha plus or minus i beta and alpha plus or minus i beta that means repeated roots therefore complementary function is e power alpha x into c1 plus c2 x into cos beta x plus c3 plus c4 x into sin beta x now you consider one example d square minus a square into y is equal to 0 first step we have to write f of d is nothing but d square minus y square auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 that means m square minus a square is equal to 0 therefore m is equal to plus or minus a therefore complementary function y is equal to c1 into e power ax plus c2 into e power minus ax next we will consider one more example y double dash plus y dash minus 2 y is equal to 0 where y of 0 is equal to 4 and y dash of 0 is equal to 1 so now you consider d square plus d plus d minus 2 into y is equal to 0 this is the equation in terms of the notation f of d is equal to d square plus d minus 2 auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 that is nothing but m square plus m minus 2 is equal to 0 this you can write it as m minus 1 into m plus 2 is equal to 0 that means m is equal to 1 comma minus 2 therefore complementary function is y is equal to c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus 2x so y has given the hints y of 0 is equal to 4 and y dash of 0 is equal to 1 this he has given to solve the constant c1 comma c2 therefore now you differentiate this one equation therefore y dash is equal to c1 e power x minus 2 into c2 into e power minus 2x now you go for the substitution y of 0 is equal to 4 in this equation if you substitute in this equation y of 0 is equal to 4 you will get 4 here c1 he left with c2 therefore c1 plus c2 is equal to 4 y dash of 0 is equal to 1 so if you substitute here you will get 1 here therefore 1 c1 minus 2 c2 you will get so from this two equations if you solve you will get c1 is equal to 3 and c2 is equal to 1 therefore substitute these c1 c2 values in this equation you will get y is equal to 3 into e power x plus e power minus 2x so c1 c2 constants values we did that one and you have substituted general solution of f of d into y is equal to some q of x how we will write is nothing but general solution y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral complementary function y c is nothing but complementary function y p is nothing but particular integral 
and also you have to note the notation d stands for the differentiation and 1 by d stands for integration so where you come across with d always think that it is for the differentiation 1 by d stands for the integration thank you